It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was recently in the Czech Republic and I picked up some beer. Not just some beer, but some crisps at the same time to show you today. So the beer, so, and, and this is remarkable, absolutely remarkable. The crisps were more expensive than the beer. This is Sijanski Maz, Sijani Lager, uh, best pilsner of 2020. It is, and that's a gold award at the World Beer Idol competition. It's 4.8% ABV in a 500 milliliter can. So I bought this at the airport and it was something like 80 pence for a can of beer in the airport. Only the Czech Republic, I think, can offer beer that cheap at an airport. So for comparison's sakes, or well, first of all, let's let's look at the beer first and we'll go back to my cheap Czech beer in the airport story. So we've got a one to two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's clear and it's a very light amber in colour. Could have done my double check pour, couldn't I? Well, I get some, get rid of some of this carbonation. Uh, aroma on the beer then. Smells okay. A little bit sweet. A little bit of spiciness in there. A little bit of lemon. Smells okay. So, um, yeah, let me just finish with this story. So, um, by comparison, when I left the Czech Republic after buying this for 80 pence, um, I, I then landed in Schiphol in Amsterdam. And if you wanted a beer in Schiphol, it would probably cost you the best part of seven or eight pounds for a pint. Massive difference in variation with the price. And it was a 55 minute flight from Czech Republic to Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. And the price is remarkably different. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is because I packed, so I went to a, um, a store called Billa in the airport and I picked up some beer and some crisps, but I packed the crisps in my suitcase, I packed the beer in my suitcase, put it in the hold, but what happened was that they burst, only a li little hole in the bottom. So just for a day or so, I've kept them kind of folded over like that. So they still should be relatively fresh. So uh, let's get to the let's get to the beer then, shall we? Let's let's get into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, definitely a pilsner, I would say. Oh, blimey, yeah, definitely a pilsner. That's quite bitter on the back end, that one. Quite refreshing. Very refreshing, actually. It's got a nice, crisp malt biscuitiness but quite a raw bitterness um i would say it's much more bitter than it is sweet so the balance is kind of leaning over here a little bit in terms of just how bitter this beer is if you like a really bitter pilsner then this could be for you Very crisp, very clean, 4.8% ABV. We're going to be drinking this one. I reckon they've designed this to session. One thing I did notice whilst I was in the Czech Republic, I went to Prague 
and Budjavis in the Czech Republic is that when I went into the supermarket, certainly the Billa supermarket, it was more, they were selling plastic bottles of beer. Uh, like, remember the old fashioned flagons in the UK? Well, they're still quite a prominent thing in the Czech Republic. Beer's so cheap over there, so they put it in cheap packaging. Um, I mean, it's great for people like you and I because we get to go there and drink really cheap beer. Um, even cheaper when it's in plastic bottles. The old flagons, if you remember rightly. But the other thing was the beers were, certainly in the airport anyway, in the airport bill of supermarket, they were in single cans. You couldn't buy a four pack. They were in single cans. So I picked up six different beers whilst I was there. 34 IBUs. That's quite... 34 IBUs. It feels a lot more than 34 IBUs. That's international bittering units. It feels more like, feels more like 50. Anyway, let's, so these are called Bohemia Pomalu Privanvein, my, my check is terrible, uh, Kotlikov, Kotlikov Bram, Bramberki. Now, one thing I love to do when I travel around, I love to try different countries' beer, and I like to pair it with different countries' crisps. I like a crisp and a beer. Who doesn't? Oh. Really crunchy. Oh, wow. My favourite beer snack. <coughs> My favourite beer snack of all time. Ready salted crisps and a beer. Mm. A really lovely, good quality potato here. Really crunchy and lovely. Mm. So much better than walkers. They had walkers in the Czech Republic. They called Lays. And I think they should call them Lazy. Because if I'm going on holiday somewhere, I want to try the local stuff. I don't want to buy Walker's cheese and onion crisps or Lay's cheese and onion crisps. Why would I want to do that? I want to buy the Czech stuff. Them Czech crisps are blooming fantastic. Really full of flavour, lovely salt qualities there, crunchy good quality potato and the beer's not bad either let's rate it all together I've had I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you if you're if you're a fan of this beer then put your fingers in your ears a little bit but I had better lagers whilst I was in the Czech Republic. Um, I just feel like the, this this lager's a little bit too a little bit too bitter. It's quite bitter for a pilsner. It almost makes you want to just have the one and then maybe move on to something else, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to give the lager a six out of ten. Six out of ten for the lager. These Bohemia crisps are fantastic. I'm made up by them. They're a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for the Bohemia ready salted crisps. They're fantastic. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. <laughs> <coughs>
Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.